again to Legit TV. My name is Abisola Aloud, and if you're wondering why I have a big smile on my face, it's because we are at Alliance France in Nikoi, venue of the fearless Lagos Comic Con 2019. I don't know if you remember, but last year we held this event at the Landmark Center, but this year there's a new venue, a big, uh, I think a much, much bigger venue for Comic Con. And uh, this Comic Con is celebrating comic culture, it's celebrating geeks, celebrating nerds. If you are one of those people that like Spider Man, Superman, any of those things, you can identify yourself as a geek or if you like technology or any or anything of the sort. Now, like I said, this is an event celebrating this culture. Now, we're going to be talking to the CEO, the convener, why he even decided to start this kind of event at all. And if you didn't know, stuff like this happens in Nigeria. Now, stay tuned to watch as we bring you scenes from this event. Don't forget, my name is Abisola Alayode and this is Legit TV. I'm speaking to Mr. Ayodele Elegba. Mr. Elegba is the convener for Le Fearless Lagos Comic Con 2019. Yes, I, I got that right, Abi. Yes, I got that right. Okay. So, Mr. Elegba, thank you very much for talking to us, our lady team. I feel like saying thank you is already overkill. You were in our studios a week ago. Yes. You understand? We had an amazing, amazing interview. You guys go and watch the interview. So, let me ask you putting all this together, seeing all your efforts finally coming out to fruition, how do you feel? I feel humbled. I feel grateful to God. I, I, I thank my team. Uh, because it's not easy pulling this together. Um, without my team, I don't think I could ever do this. I want to thank my sponsors as well for believing in what we are doing right now. Um, I'm exhausted, but I'm very happily <laughs> exhausted because okay. you know when you plan for a whole year yeah. for something like this, you know, I'm excited because I can see the numbers, I can see the crowd. It's it's overwhelming. I'm grateful to everyone who has come to support us, and I thank you for your support for giving us all the media publicity okay, out there. Thank you. Okay. And now that everybody's here, now that you can see people here, this is 2019, and we know tomorrow is going to be bigger than today. Guys, this year's coming going for three days. They started yesterday. Uh, was yesterday's day was the eighth, Thursday, nineteenth. Yeah. Today's twenty. It's going to come to an end on the twenty-first tomorrow. Next year, we're going to see, let's say, one whole week of Comic Con. Yes, it's now becoming real that we have to have a one-week event because the crowd that we have right now cannot take this space. <laughs> so we might need to extend it to like maybe one week uh, next year. Yeah. Okay, so what do you have to say to people who have come today? You understand? And you know, everybody that's come here today is an ambassador. What message do you want them to take away from today's event? Um, I want to say they should network, they should meet people. Um, because the reason why I set up Lagos Comic Con was because I wanted a, a safe place for young people not to feel threatened. I wanted a place whereby mentors would not put their shoulders up and they would feel relaxed to actually talk to them and encourage them and mentor them. I wanted a place whereby people can actually sell their goods and services. I wanted a place whereby the media can put some eye on what the creative industry is doing. I mean comics, gaming, animation and even filmmaking, even books. You know, so um, I want to encourage them to network to get stuff, to get ideas, to, to explore their mind. Not everyone will be able to travel out of the country. So I'm saying, if you can't travel out of the country, you can come to Lagos Comic Con, see what's possible, see what people are doing, expand your mind, expand your reasoning, and begin to dream big and have dream and dream big, big vision for yourself. I like when he said, not everybody can go out of the country, but coming for events like this, you already have an idea of how it is outside the country. So I just wanted to ask, is this event for nerds alone? This event is not for nerds alone. We call it the biggest geek market, meaning that this is where you can actually get what geeks want. Okay, but, but then there are people who are not geeks, but they want to become geeks or they are in love with geeks. They are in a relationship with geeks. And you want to know how geeks think? You know, you can come to Lagos Comic Con and have a feel. Now, and that's what sets us apart. We are not in competition with other events, music events, film events, no. We are targeted towards the geeks and those who love geeks. I can assure you, there's nobody who has a family member right now who's not a geek. Somebody has likes a, a gadget or something. <laughs> if you love a gadget, you love comic books, you love yeah, movies, yeah, you are a geek. Yeah. You know, so that's our catchment area. That's our target market, and we want to stay like that for a while. You know, because I'm excited. I just watched a, a, a film, a premiere of Nigeria's first sci-fi action-packed movie. Oh, wow. I'm telling you, wow. the CGI was just like Black Panther. <laughs> you know, and and I'm excited. Only a geek would get excited about things like that. So if you love Black Panther, love Iron Man, love Game of Thrones, this is the place that you should be. And I agree. Thank you, Mr. Adili, for talking to us. Thank you very and much. hopefully we we'll see you again next year. Much, much bigger one. <laughs> Thank you, guys.